Hi, I am Patty Elhoff. I am the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, here today to show you 10 different ideas of papers that you can use to decoupage with. The first one, which tends to be very popular, would be napkins. That is one of those porcelain Christmas houses. I don't know if they make them for any other reason. I only see them around Christmas time. But I chose to use a special paint to cover the porcelain and follow that up with butterfly napkins and some French script napkins all over what is now a lovely votive holder. So the first idea uh, would be napkins. The second idea is going to be tissue paper. That is actually tissue paper that is over a phone book, which is another idea. The third idea would be the phone book. If you look closely at this image, you can see zero in on this the phone book in the background. These numbers, names, all from the phone book. And then I took some tissue paper images and decoupaged over top of that. This tissue paper is just a plain pink. And by the way, this particular project is in my book. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't seem to get through a video without a little cough here and there. So this particular project is, is in the book. This is tissue paper. The next idea would be wrapping paper. That is the bottle. And the beauty of that is that you can choose that to fit any holiday. This is not your typical Christmas color, I understand, the blue. I just wanted something a little different. So I painted the bottle blue. It's a special paint that you can get at the hardware store that you need to use over the glass. Instructions for that also in my book. But this is a Santa Claus print. Another good thing, you don't have to make any copies of wrapping paper. It doesn't run. It makes for great decoupage paper. And our next idea, calendars. That butterfly was on a calendar, and I have to tell you that calendars are made on very thick paper. You would need to go to the copy store and make copies. If you try to make them on your own copier at home, most of us have inkjet printers. If you know that you've got a laser printer, you'll do fine. If you have an inkjet printer, and the majority of us do, then you would want to go to the copy center because you do need to submerge these in water, the decoupage glue is very wet, and even though there are some videos out there telling you how you can use your inkjet copies, for the purpose of decoupage I find it is a little cumbersome. So that could just be me personally if you want to look at some of those videos to see how you can use your inkjet prints. Uh, that's fine. You may not be as bothered by the way that it comes out as I am. So calendars, and by the way, that also goes for cards. You would also need to make copies of those. You can tell how heavy cards are. This is actually from a vintage postcard. And that is... I just thought that was so beautiful. The postcard was from, I don't know, the 40s or something. But it came complete with French script. I put some music notes in the background there. And then, old books, encyclopedias. By the way, my old book would be this music book that I got. But it also had some vintage prints like that you see here on this birdhouse. Instructions for this are on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe by the way. And that is the Anton Pike 
Still not sure how to say that. P-I-E-C-K, Anton Pike Birdhouse. But this is from a vintage book. I made copies of it. This actually comes in a kit. You can find this online, Anton Pike, P-I-E-C-K, decoupage kit or 3D decoupage kit. But this video, just on how to do this birdhouse alone, is on my YouTube channel. You can follow those instructions step by step, tell you what you need and where to get it. This is scrapbook paper. And then finally, online sources. Uh, actually, I missed one other one. This particular copy is from a sheet of different images that I got on Etsy. And all I did was um, several images are on one sheet. I purchased this on Etsy. I downloaded it. I went through my photo editing program and just enlarged one in particular and then decoupaged it on after I painted, I decoupaged it onto this board, and I thought that came out quite lovely to hang outside the bathroom door. The, the final one that I did forget to mention, and probably something that's so important, is you can take your own photos. This is a picture of our dog, Angus, who's been a very good boy and hasn't barked at all. Good doggy. Hasn't barked at all during this, and I did a watercolor image on it. But I also decoupaged it on top of this glass block. And you can imagine, you could do anything once you start taking your own pictures. So there are your 10 different ideas, sources of decoupage paper. Some you may already have known, some you may not have thought of. I hope I have inspired you a little bit. And please contact me if you've got any questions. Like my video, comment on the video, take a look at my book. I've also got a video showing you some of the projects in the book. And thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.